Hi boys and girls, we're ready for another OG lesson. So let's get ready to review. Let's take a look. I see our soft G and soft C and our suffix that comes at the end of the base word. ES means on an action, they're doing it right now or more than one. Our S means right now on this action word. Our ING means right now. And our ED means in the past. So you can echo read or read with me at the same time. Rage, fence, our base word of mix, is mixes, our base word blend, ing, blending, our base word help, add our suffix, helps, our base word tell, add our suffix, ing, telling, our base word print, add our suffix, id, printed. Our base word call, calls. And our base word stand, stands. Let's read this again a little bit smoother, real quick, like we should sound when we read and talk. Rage, fence, mixes, blending, helps, telling, printed, calls, stands. Let's read this again. If you like to ride your bike outside, rage, fence, mixes, blending, helps, telling, printed, calls, stands. Read this again in your best, strongest first grade voice. Rage, fence, Mixes, blending, helps, telling, printed, calls, stands. So I'm thinking of a word and it's a noun. It's a thing that you put around your house and yard to keep your animals in. A fence. I'm thinking of a word and... It's another word for, sometimes stories use it when they want to say the word said, when someone's talking or yells. If you yell out to someone or shouts, you might say calls. He calls out my name. I'm thinking of a word and it's a feeling word and it means the same. It's a synonym to angry, rage, right? And there are two words in our list, and they kind of mean the same thing. They, they are synonyms, and it's when you stir something together or bring your words together. We could say on one, or when you're making cookies, you stir the batter. Mixes and blending kind of mean the same thing. All right, this time you shout the word out before I exit out. Stands, fence, helps, calls. We have lots of our suffixes today. Mixes, rage, telling, printed, blending. Good. Now we've been working on this ing, which we saw as a suffix over here, but it can also be just part of a word. And our keyword is king. Our ing has one sound, ing, and it's not acting as a suffix here. Nope, it's not onto a base word. Over here, we had ing onto a word, a base word blend, and we added it to me now. This is just part of the word. So you echo me or read with me. Fling, bring, sting, string, Sling, thing, wing, king, swing. Let's read this again in your strongest, more stronger first grade voice. Fling, bring, sting, string, sling, thing, wing, king, swing. Can you read these again if you like? to eat spaghetti and meatballs. Here we go. Fling, bring, sting, string, s 
sling, thing, wing, king, swing. Read these one more time if you like to eat chicken nuggets. Fling, bring, sting, string, sling, thing, wing, king, swing. So our ing works together to make one sound, ing. It's all together. I'm thinking of a word and it's a noun. It's a thing that you might tie on to a kite to hold on to, string. I'm thinking of a word and it's a noun. It's a thing that you sit on on the playground and it goes back and forth, swing. I'm thinking of a word and it's an action word. It's a verb and it happens when a bee gets too close to you, it might sting. I'm thinking of a word and it's an action word, it's a verb, and it's another word for like throw something, toss something over here. You might toss your backpack when you get home or fling it, right? I'm thinking of a word and it holds, like if you broke your arm, it's not the cast, but maybe you wear something around the cast and it goes around your neck so your arm doesn't move. It's a something that that goes partly around your neck, it holds your arm, it's called a sling, right? I'm thinking of a word and it's a noun and it's part of a bird's body that helps it fly. A wing. All right, this time you shout the word out before I exit out, you try to beat me. Who's gonna be faster today? Bring, king, string, sling, Fling, sting, thing, wing. Good. Let's get our paper ready <clears throat> and our date. Here we go. Write me the lowercase letters that say s as in nice. It's got that sound, but no s is written. How do we get a sound with there's no s? A C E, right? Soft C. Write me the lowercase letters that say O as in home. O consonant E is our O sound. Write me the lowercase letters that say SP. That's the SP, good. Write me the lowercase letters that say UNG as in hung. U and G goes together, one sound, UNG. Write me the lowercase letters that say I, as in bike. I, consonant E. Write me the lowercase letters that say U or U. U as in mule, U as in tune. That U sound U, consonant E. Write me the lowercase letters that say ong, as in gong. O-N-G says ong. Write me the lowercase letters. That's a suffix. It comes at the end of a base word and it can mean more than one. And it says is when a word ends in ch, sh, sx, or z. Add yes and you'll please me. Write me the lowercase letters that say ch as in catch. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, ch is spelled t c h. Write me the lowercase letters that say ang, as in fang. A-N-G says ang. Write me the lowercase letters. It's a suffix. It comes at the end of the word and it means in the past. You already did it and it ha says ed, d, or t. It's that E-D. Write me the lowercase letters that say j, as in huge. But we're not writing a J. And it's a long vowel, U, huge, is our keyword. G, E is our soft G. Not a D, G, E, because that would be a short vowel. It would need to come after. All right, let's get ready to practice writing some words. Get our tapper hand ready. The first word is ring, R, ang. Two sounds, but four letters. R, ang. Good. Our next word is song, song. Two sounds, but four letters. 
that O and G goes together for one sound, ong. So, our next word is itch. Itch, two sounds again, but four letters. Now remember, I hear a ch at the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel. This is saying I, it's the short sound. Ch is spelled T-C-H, only in short vowel words. Our last word is use. Use, two sounds again, but three letters. Ooh, use, sounds like a Z. Hmm, what do we need to make the U say U? Use, U consonant E, and that E is making that S sound like a Z. Use, we need our E to hop over to make the U say U, use. And it's a vowel sandwich, so our S sounds like a Z. And our E, e is silent, we don't hear it, use. Let's go back and read these together. Rain, song, itch, use. And our diamond, we're working on that sound. I-N-G says ing. I-N-G says ing. I-N-G says ing. Can you say that with me? I-N-G says ing. I-N-G says ing. I-N-G says ing. Let's flip it over. We're gonna write some ing words. Our first word is bring. Let's tap it. Br, ing. Three sounds, but five letters. Br, ing. That ing says ing. It goes together. Bring. Our next word is wing. W ing. Now wing is not a question word. So it just starts like wagon, wa-ing. Two sounds, but four letters. Wing. Our next word is king, k-ing. It's our key word for this. Now what kind of k is it? Since I have the ing, I, stick vowel I goes with K. Remember our C and K rule. King, our I is a stick vowel, so it goes with the K. Our last word is swing, swing. Three sounds, but five letters. Swing. It's got the word wing inside of it. We just added the S. S. Let's go back and read these together. Bring. Wing, king, swing. Now we have a brand new memory word today. D-O-W-N. It says down. You've got that ow again. That O-W says ow. That was in the word now. So let's get ready to sky right. Get your best superpower arm. Do it with, with me. Here we go. D-O-W-N. says down. D O W N says down. D O W N says down. Let's write it. Let's spell it out loud as we write it. D O W N says down. 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 Let's look at it two more times. D O W N says down. D O W N says down. Can you look at it and write it without looking? D Let's go down the stairs. Down. Let's check it. D-O-W-N says down. Now, do you remember how to spell find? It's got that chunk that says eind. F-I-N-D. I hear that nd. Find. Do you remember how to spell now? It's got that ow in it, like in down. 
N O W says now. So we have down, find, and now. Let's get our sentence ready for cups. Capital, the order, the punctuation, and spelling. All right, here's our sentence. Just listen to me first. I like to swing with my dad. That's not too bad. I like to swing with my dad. Seven words. So I, always I by itself is uppercase. Like, I think you remember how to spell like. I, I consonant E. I like to swing. Now swing was a word we had earlier. Swing. Three sounds, but five letters. Sw. Our S blend. Ing. I like to swing with. Do you remember how to spell with? It's not a question word, so it doesn't start with WH. It's just a W. With. My. Dad. Now I'm telling you I like to swing with my dad. I'm telling you something, it's a statement, it's a telling sentence. So it just gets a period. I like to swing with my dad. Check out with, not a question word, no WH. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven words like we counted. I like to swing with my dad. All right, good job today.